Hi everyone, and welcome to Two Minute Tips with the Qualtrics Experience Community. Today, we're talking about Qualtrics AI and how to enable it in your brand. These powerful features help you uncover deeper insights, save valuable time by automating tasks, and ultimately create better experiences for your customers. First, we'll have to log into Qualtrics. Make sure that you are on a brand administrator account, because if you are not, you are not going to be able to enable AI by yourself. Once logged in, we'll go to the top left corner and click the hamburger icon. In here, we'll go all the way down and click admin. In our admin tab, we'll go to the top buttons and go all the way to the right and click more. In here, we'll click organization settings. Once we click organization settings, we'll go to the left part of our screen and go all the way down to artificial intelligence or AI. Here is our main control center to enable or disable AI features for all of the users. There are a lot of toggles in here, so let's cover what each one does. The first one is to automatically enable new AI features. This means that if you have it on, all the new features will be rolling out to all of the users automatically. If you disable it, you'll have to manually select which ones the users will be able to access. In case that we don't want to automatically enable, we'll manually enable it as I said. So in this case, you can select all of them or you can go feature by feature enabling it. So we can go for AI recommended segments, AI adaptive follow-up, and all the way for all the features that you want. Once we select all the features that we have, we'll click apply. It may ask for a confirmation of all the users that you will be affecting. So we'll have to type the number that we will see on screen. In this case, it's 19.35. And we click save. Once that is saved, now we'll have to make sure that all of the users have it. So we'll go to the users tab. In the users tab, you will look for the user that needs the AI features enabled. You will click on the user. Once it loads, we want to make sure that you are on the general tab. You will scroll all the way down to the right and see the AI permissions table. In here, you are able to enable all disabled permissions. Once that you are done here, you want to scroll all the way up again and click the survey platform tab. In here, we will repeat the process. Going down and to the right, we'll see another AI permissions table. Here, we can enable or disable other AI features for the user. And once that we are done, we click save. And that's it. And that's a quick look at how you can activate AI features that will take your experience management program to the next level. Let us know what you think in the comments below and be sure to come back next week for another two minute tip video.